well, I can barely hold it together. <laughs> but as I turn over this special anchor desk with its remarkable history to the new team, just a few words to all of you about what it's meant to sit here, first as a substitute anchor in the 1980s and 90s, and then for the past 11 years through some of the most tumultuous events of our time, seven different presidential elections, the end of the Cold War, the start of many hot ones, and most fresh in my mind, the COVID pandemic, the reckoning over race in America, mass shootings in schools and grocery stores, and our nation's deepening political divide. Through it all, I've tried to stay true to what the program's founders, Robin McNeil and Jim Lehrer, believe so fiercely that we're here to report, to tell you as accurately and fairly as we can what's going on in the world, and to let you make up your minds about what to think, and to have the courage, as my beloved co-anchor Gwen Eiffel did, to ask the tough questions, to hold people in power accountable. And I would add, to care enough about each one of you, to respect you and your beliefs, what your lives are like. It has been the honor of a lifetime to be in this chair, to tell these hugely important stories, to share the worst and the best of humanity, all of which we need to hear to be the best possible citizens we can be. And of course, to support the work done by my remarkable NewsHour colleagues. As you know, I am just the tip of the iceberg. They do the work day in and day out, hour in and hour out, that gets this program on the air. They research, they write, they produce, they take pictures and video. They adjust lighting and audio, they edit, they fix, they direct all the things without which there would be no program. And on the digital side, online, they do all that and more, plus streaming and social media. They don't sleep. And that's why I know with all my brilliant on-air colleagues and the two new co-anchors, Amna Nawaz and Jeff Bennett, the news hour will not only thrive, it will soar. And just a reminder, I'm not leaving the news hour. I'll still be around as a correspondent, taking on a big project for the next couple of years called America at a Crossroads, trying to understand our country better and why we Americans seem so divided. I also plan to do some reporting on what people with disabilities face. And finally, I want to thank you who are watching in the United States and around the world, the best viewers anywhere, concerned citizens who hold us to a high standard every single day. Thank you for trusting us to tell it straight. I step away now with a heart full of gratitude for this singular opportunity to share the most critical stories of our time. And as we say every evening, and that is the news hour for tonight, I'm Judy Woodruff. For all of us at the PBS NewsHour, thank you. Please stay safe, and we'll see you soon. Thank you. Thank you, you guys. Major funding for the PBS NewsHour has been provided by 